So you've got an abyssal demons task and you want to try out the sire. In today's video I will show you how to kill the abyssal sire and also I will be killing it for a full hour to see the loot. Now what is the abyssal sire? It is basically a gigantic abyssal demon boss. Okay, so here are some of the drops from the Abyssal Sire, so you can get a bunch of noted alcables, runes, herbs, seeds, and some other unique material drops, which can be very helpful for Iron Man accounts. And also, here are the other drops that you can get, which is kind of cool, but the main thing people are after are this thing called the Unsire. Now, basically what this is, it's like a piece, kind of like a key in a way, and you have to use it on the the room when you first enter i'll show you guys there and this has a chance to drop all the unique things which there is bludgeon claw the bludgeon spine and the bludgeon axe now you can combine all three of these together to make an abyssal bludgeon which is a very cool item also there's a chance to get an abyssal dagger also a whip and then the jar the head and the pet which is a 1 in 25 chance Okay, now as for the gear, I start with the Slayer Helmet, and then I have my range equipment, which is the Assembler, Crystal Body and Legs with the Armadale Dehyde Boots. We've got the Rada's Blessing, I bring the Fury, and then the Bow of Ferradonin, Barrows, Gloves, and the Ring of Suffering. Now for my melee switch over, um, where I do most of the damage, we got the Fire Cape, the Osmonton's Fang, Bando's Armor, the Dragon Defender, and Primordial Boots. Now as for the inventory, I've got Ranging Potion, Super Combat, Anti-Venom, uh, Stamina Potion, 4 Regular Prayer Potions, my Melee Switch, and I fill the rest of the inventory up with food. I have an Escape Teleport to get back to my house, and then in my Rune Pouch, I have the runes to be able to cast Shadow Barrage. Make sure you bring a Shadow Spell here. Alright, so I'll show you how to actually get to the Abyssal Sire, and then I will go over a quick kill so basically you're gonna want to head up to a fairy ring and type in the code dip dip and you should get into the nexus right here now when you do get the unsired drop you need to use it on this guy right here and he will give you your reward so yeah you just use the unsired on it and the reward will spit out there now if you look on the world map actually for the abyssal sire as you can see it this is the regular abyss and then the Abyssal Sire, there's four different places that you can actually kill the Sire. So if a world is full, you could either hop worlds or, you know, go to one of the other locations. So I always, for some reason, go up here into the northeast section. It doesn't really matter, though, where you start out. And uh, I think it's a good idea that they have four sections because that means four people can p kill this boss per world. So yeah, you just want to run up here. Now, I'll show you these two tiles that I have marked, which are actually very, very helpful to do. So, these last two right here, you want to mark right here and right here. These two don't really matter, but just make sure that you mark these two. It will help you a lot during the fight. Okay, so now for the actual Abyssal Sire fight, you basically, this is the main boss right here, and then there's four tentacles. Now, there also is four respiratory systems, and you need to actually kill the respiratory systems before you can actually do damage to the boss. Now, when you attack the boss, these tentacles will actually come and try and hit you, so you need to actually cast a shadow spell on the boss to disable the tentacles so that you can take out the respiratory systems. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the entire kill. So basically, you start it off by casting a Shadow Barrage on the Sire right here. Perfect. And then run down here and put on Eagle Eye and shoot the respiratory systems. Try and knock out two, even three sometimes before you have to cast the next Barrage. Now, as you can see, it says 20 seconds that we have stunned on the Abyssal Sire. And that's when these... Uh, tentacles will start attacking us so we got to make sure that we do it in time okay taking out the respiratory system and then come back to the middle here cast another another shadow barrage and then that should reset to 26 seconds and back to killing the other respiratory systems after this one's done we got one more to go we'll get a little bit of slayer xp for um killing the respiratory systems which does help and over time anyways but uh yeah, so last respiratory system right here, and then you're going to want to put your melee gear on. Pray melee, and put Pidey on, drink a super combat potion, 
you could drink it uh, anti-venom or antidote, whatever it is as well, so you don't get poisoned throughout the fight, and attack the boss. I like to dump all of my specs immediately. Um, you don't have to, though. You could save them, but why not? Just dump them all right away. You could take, like, claws or something here, whatever you want to, but I find the fang just works fine. So once the boss gets to under 200 HP, uh, you will have to move to the square right here. Now put on Prey from range now, and... One, two, three, and head to this square. So when the poison thing pops up, you want to move to the next square. And when you get teleported here, you just want to run down south while this ball comes up. And then run back and attack the boss again. But we want to get in that rhythm where we attack once and move to this square. And whenever the poison comes up, we have to go back and forth. But that is a basic kill okay so i'm gonna do the boss now in full screen so you guys can get a better uh view of everything so we're gonna start off again by attacking the boss landing a couple of specs in here hopefully you could like i said take dragon warhammer or dragon claws whatever you want but uh yeah just attack the boss until he's under 200 hp eat when you need to when he spawns out a minion try and kill it as quickly as possible when there's an acid pool on the ground move out of the way or else you'll get poisoned but that's pretty much about it for the first phase here and the second phase this is where a lot of people mess up on you want to put prey from uh range on now and then attack him and move to the next square so once your attack registers, you move to the next square to avoid the poison right here. And when you get teleported, run away as quickly as you possibly can so that you won't die there. And then you can head back up here and attack again. Attack again. And yeah, you just want to avoid the poison. So whenever the poison pops up, you just run to the next square. But yeah, that's a basic kill. Eat it, we eat about one shark per kill. And yeah, you can get some decent kills. Alright, so I'm going to reset my uh, loot tracker as well as reset my experience and do this for a full hour today. See how many kills we can get, see how much money we can make, and see if the experience is any good. I'll obviously record if something interesting happens. Timer starts now. Let's go, our first Unsired drop. Alright, so let's use our Unsired on this thing right here, and see if we get anything cool. Ooh, let's go, a bludgeon piece, bro. So, yeah, we just need one more. Well, that is the last kill. Anything good? Some room plate bodies, okay. Well, the hour is officially up at the Abyssal Sire. It was a pretty fun hour. So, in the hour, we got a total of 21 kills, which is actually not too bad, right? You get an uh, Unsired drop about 1 in 100, so you're looking about 5 hours per Unsired piece, or if you get lucky, you could get more. In the hour, we made a total of 1 million GP, which is okay, right? We didn't get any crazy unique reward or anything like that, just from the regular common drops. Uh, most of it being alkables and some coal, and just, yeah, mostly alkables and some logs, a little bit of ashes, runes, and stuff like that to help out the account. But uh, yeah, about a million GP in alkables can be really good for Iron Man accounts, as always. Um, and then as for the experience in the hour, not the best. We did get about 94,000 XP overall, 40,000 in attack, 17.9 in range, 3,400 3, in magic, and then we also gained a little bit of Slayer, only about 13.7k, which is kind of funny. So if you're going for Slayer experience, definitely not the best. It is a fun boss, however, and if you are an Iron Man account, it can be very uh, helpful to go for the bludgeon. So if you get all three of these pieces, you could build the bludgeon, which is a great weapon for your account. If you're a main account, going for that nice uh, pet could be a crazy thing to eventually go for one day, but it's extremely rare. You don't see them around too often. But I think once I complete the bludgeon, I will just go back to killing the regular ones until I go pet hunting one day. But uh, yeah, overall, I would kill it. 
just for uh, Iron Man, and if you remain, and only if you want the pet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later. Thank you.